This video is on distributive property and partial quotients. When using distributive property to divide, it's helpful to know how to use expanded form. For example, we're going to have 520 divided by 5 in our first problem. Well, what you want to do first is take your dividend, 520, and break it up into its uh, expanded form, which would be like 500 plus 20. This way, we can divide each of these by 5. For example, so now we have 500 divided by 5, and we have 20 divided by 5. Both of these answers put together will give us our overall quotient. So 500 divided by 5 is 100, and 20 divided by 5 is 4, and all we going to do is add these together, and we have our answer of 104. Now that was a fairly easy problem. Let's look at a different problem that can be broken up into its hundreds, tens, and ones place. Here we have 145 divided by 5. And again, we have to use expanded form to break up 145. So we have 100 plus 40 plus 5. Now all we have to do is divide each of these by 5. So we have 100 divided by 5. We have 40 divided by 5. And we have 5 divided by 5. All these quotients added together will give us our answer. So first off, what is 100 divided by 5? Well, that's 20. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. Add these together, and we get our quotient of 29. So 145 divided by 5 is 29. So those are two examples on how to use distributive property and partial quotients to do division. Let's quickly look at one more example. In this example, we're going to use distributive property, but yet we're not going to break it up completely. So here we have the number 327 divided by 3. And if we're using expanded form to break up 327, it would be 300 plus 20 plus 7. But we know we're going to take each of these parts divided by 3. However, if you look at these parts, 20 and 7 are both not divisible by 3 very well. But I do know that 27 together is divisible by 3. So we're going to kind of partially use expanded form for this problem. So we're going to have 300 plus 27 instead of 300 plus 20 plus 7. So let's take this part now and let's break this up and divide each part by 3. So we have 300 divided by 3, and we have 27 divided by 3. And we need to add these two parts together. Well, 300 divided by 3 is 100, and 27 divided by 3 is 9. Add your two parts together, and you get 109. So your quotient for 327 divided by 3 is 109. It's nice to think about math this way when doing division and really using place value to your advantage. Thank you for watching my video on partial or partial quotients.